What's going on guys? So This is my truck, obviously. I want to give you guys an update. What's going on? We're going to do a little bit of work, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, we've been having a lot of problems. I had a cylinder four misfire that we finally got figured out. Um, I got these LS spark, dual drone spark plug wires, um, put those on and it, it seemed like it solved the problem. I'm not 100% sure. We also leaned out the tune a lot. Um, and today we're gonna be focusing on that. So what we're doing today is we're taking the current downpipe that's in there. We're gonna chop it. We're gonna make it V-band. I have to find where the V-band is. I have one laying around, I think, I hope. If I don't, then I'm SOL. But I swore I had one circle around here somewhere anyways we'll find that in a minute so gonna do that <clears throat> um, the new turbos on I wrapped the header turbo manifold I wrapped it up so that looks nice we're gonna wrap the downpipe um, the the cartridge or whatever I can't think of what it's called anyways it's getting powder coated gold right now. I'm trying to get ready. There's a car show Sunday. I want to go. I want to get in it. I want to take the truck. I'm hoping to drive it. If not, we'll throw it on the trailer. We'll tow it there. Um, we're definitely going to have to tow it home because it doesn't have lights. Uh, I got a alternator. So I've been trying to get the alternator to work can't get it to work. Everybody says like, this is how you do it. Well, I do it that way and it doesn't work. So I bought this GM alternator right here. It's a one wire alternator. So you hook up 12 volts, done, 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 done. Um, this spot's threaded. So I think I can use that on the current bracket. And then this is completely different. So we're gonna have to build a bracket to hold it over here or something. Anyways, we got to figure that out. I'll deal with this by myself. Maybe I'll shoot a video. Maybe I won't. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. The truck runs, everything's good. The manifold's not really bolted on right now. The turbo's not bolted on. But I want to get the downpipe situated. And then once the downpipe's situated, we'll be in a good place to start tuning. Oh, I got my power steering reservoir mounted. I want to put another bolt in it. It just has one for now, but it's there. It's solid. It's not going nowhere. Um, this line's good. The feed line, the return line, I got to mess with. Um, it's it's kind of pulling up this bracket down here. It's pulling it up. So I'd like it to be a little longer and probably just go with some regular hose. I might have some braided stuff that's small enough to slip on there. We shall see. But anyways, things are happening. I know it's slow going. I know we thought that this was going to be a lot faster, but it's just been a pain in the butt. Biggest issue has been the misfire. So now that we have the misfire, <clears throat> the misfire fixed, we got to button up all this small stuff so we can actually get it tuned. Um, we start getting the tune worked out. Then we'll put the truck on the street. We'll get it broken in and then we'll go get it for real tuned. Um, anyways, yeah. So, Let's get started. I'm going to get the downpipe off and we'll get to welding. All right, guys. So we didn't have any elbows or 90s, whatever you want to call them. Um, here's my downpipe. It's kind of jank. Um, it's real weird up here. Anyways, so what I did is I'm basically, I'm probably going to cut this here. Uh, I'm, I'm doing pie cuts here. I'm going to cut this down here. And we'll just have to figure out how to get the pie cut to match up to this. Not that hard. We'll just have to do some measuring. There's a little bit of straight left there. Not much, like six inches. And then there's this piece, this and that. So I'll be able to make it work. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely get it done. I was a little worried. But anyways, so here's what I got. So I got these two. They'll go like that. And this one will go here. And this one goes here and it makes it just over 90 degrees or so. I don't know. But anyways, it looks good. It's all going to be wrapped, so it doesn't matter. 
I cut them with the, the friction cutter thing. Uh, I hit them with the belt sander. Anyways, let's get to welding. I'm gonna weld this up. I'll show you guys some progress as I go. And I'll show you the finished product. So here it is, guys. Some of the welds look okay. But this one looks pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. Anyways, I'm super proud of this. It's got this little curve to it, which helps it miss my, my header right there. So it'll go in. And it actually curves it just around it. Hold on a second, I gotta set you down. So I think that's pretty well straight down. It's not really focusing very well. Anyways, it misses it just barely. So I'm super happy with that. I need to weld a straight on here and then attach that to it and we'll be done. But I'm going to call it tonight. I'm going to pick up tomorrow. It's like 8.30. I got to work at 6, you know. Sucks. But uh, anyways, we're going to weld this on there. Tomorrow. I'm stoked, guys. This is so sick. So that'll go on there. This is my first pie cut ever. So that's another reason why I'm hyped. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, we'll get that tacked on. Actually, I'm probably going to tack it right now. No, I already turned the machine off and everything. I'll just leave it. So we'll get that on. I got to square up this side. We'll cut that side tomorrow. And we'll be in good shape, guys. I'm pretty hyped. Pretty hyped. We got a new microphone. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. Um, and it goes down to here. Hoping to make the audio better. better. Um, we're trying to do everything we can to get these to be as best as possible. We got the new camera, which shoots really good. It shoots in 4K. Um, we don't upload in 4K, but we shoot in 4K, so it looks it looks amazing. Um, our other audio, we liked it, but when somebody was behind the camera, you couldn't hear him. When somebody was in front, you could, and we're used to it being the other way around, so we're quiet in front of it, or uh, quiet behind it and loud in front of it. So I got two of these um, little lapel mics, and they should be a lot better. Um, I'll see how this video goes. I've been doing a lot of audio editing in the last few videos and it's just tiring so i got these hopefully everything will be better and we'll be in good shape i don't know how they're going to do in the wind so we'll see it's a learning curve we're trying to figure this out we want to get good content out to you guys um in good quality you know as far as video and audio anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow with this what's up guys so i know i left you off in a bad spot um I had a lot to do yesterday. There's a car show today Bo and I are going to, and that'll be the next video. So I just tried to like bust some stuff out. Anyways, here's the truck. I got the dash all in it. The glove box is in, the wires are tucked away. I got the exhaust done, so it's all up on here. You can't see it, but there it is. Finished the downpipe, wrapped the downpipe, got the new turbo on, got the power steering done. So turbo's on, power steering's all plumbed up, belt's on for it, the new alternator's on. The down pipes on and wrapped up turbo blanket headers on everything's on looks pretty good now i'm going to vacuum it out i'm going to get it washed get it on the trailer we're going to get ready to go to the car show um i'd like to drive it but i'm just i don't think the tune's quite ready yet anyways thanks for hanging out i know this video wasn't that great um, if you have any questions, ask below. It's a GM one wire alternator that I made a custom bracket for. Uh, 
I just moved the power steering reservoir. Nothing, nothing really that fancy. The biggest thing was making the downpipe. I freaking welded and welded. I'm sunburnt from welding yesterday, but it looks good. So I'm happy with it. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.